grateful. All right, he was the icon of the 1960s. He fought for equality for African Americans and led the way during the Civil Rights Movement. On Monday, we will honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In honor of the minister and civil rights activist, Johns Hopkins Hospital held its 35th annual commemoration event. He speaker, Dr. Robert Higgins, who was the first African American department head at the hospital, celebrated the remarkable life and legacy of the great civil rights leader. As Dr. King spoke about the end of his mortal life on February 4th, 1968, at Ebenezer Baptist Church, he lifted up the value of service as the hallmark of a full life. And I quote, I'd like someone to mention on that day that Martin Luther King died to give his life serving others. Former Senator Barbara Mikulski also made remarks at the event, and there was a performance from the Hopkins Gospel Choir, Unified Voices.